here just west of Long Scraggy Peak there. We're in an area called the Big Bertha Pegmatite. You can see on the ground here there's a lot of white quartz. We're on a massive hillside. This is the east side of the hillside. <clears throat> this area is well known for rare earth pegmatites, uh, uranium minerals, cerium minerals, yttrium minerals. And this is the massive cut that's been cut over the years. One of the largest cuts, pegmatite cuts, especially in this part of the Colorado. All the way to the other side there. Michael and Ryan already getting ready to start chipping away there. This area is massive. Huge lobe style pegmatite. Continues all the way over there. And all the way down the other side of this hill here. We're going to see if we can't find some rare earth crystals or zircons, xenotimes, a whole host of other rare minerals. Fluorite. Basnesite. zones of white chunks of quartz. We're gonna try and find uh, the minerals that are in there. We found a little bit of fluoride already, possibly some zircon, uh, some ugly zircons, nothing too pretty yet to show. This whole area has been uh, heavily dug up and messed with. <clears throat> so we just gotta search and see what we got. Not even sure what that is. I have to take a closer look at that one. So you have the other side of this here. Nice view from up here too. You can see the what I believe is the Devil's Head area over there. Way over there. Down along this hillside here, I was seeing lots of big chunks of white quartz. I was finding some decent mica specimens or mica chunks along here. You can see this hill goes all the way around over there. And so yeah, this is a big area to explore, so uh, hopefully I'll get uh, some cool specimens found out of here. This place is relatively famous and heavily picked over, so a lot of stuff is gone, but uh, we'll see what we can find. Working away here at uh, Big Bertha Pegmatite. This spot's a little bit in the shade, so it might be a little hard to see on camera. But I'm getting into a zone of a lot of mica crystals, and you can kind of see a bunch of chunks of mica. This mica kind of just is all over the place. This black biotite mica. All kinds of crazy angles, large chunks of it coming out, even like right here is one big chunk. And some of it's kind of odd. You can see this even, this stuff, this chunk even made a uh, triangle of mica around the quartz rock. I 
like this all right here is a big chunk of mica around here making it hard to see the other potential minerals if I can get this right here That wasn't all mica, but it was up against where the mica was coming out. And Michael, over there, has been pulling out some large chunks of purple and green fluorite chunks. Nothing gemmy yet, but this is the stuff that they're finding some of the rare earth minerals in here, like xenotimes inside this purple and green mica, or excuse me, purple and green fluorite. And I did find one decent find. I believe it's a zircon. Get out of the bag here. So I know the camera's looking at the ground there. Size zircon. Pretty sure it's a zircon. And that came out of just up like right in there, I think. It's hard to tell for sure, but I'm following the mica mineralization. I might go come back up here and chip away at some more of this wall. But uh, yeah, one significant find. And the other guys are finding florets. I haven't found any florets myself. Well, definitely lots of mica. But yes, a, a beautiful day here. At the big birth of pegmatite. Ryan's up there so digging somewhere around there. Before it gets too long, we may want to head back because it was a little bit of a hike to get over here. We came from the east, excuse me, the west side, way over there beyond those trees. So it'll take a little while to get back.